This season on Game of Bros. Bring it on, G. Ten celebrity Nisian wannabe warriors. I went out and got a special bra. Fighting for one prize. Winners. Last row, that's all you got, Jimmy. Last row. There will be losers. Oh. And there will be lots of sexy slow motion running. But only one warrior will win the ultimate prize a $10,000 donation for a charity of the victor's choosing. Gifted by the friendly followers at iSecured, keeping an eye on our community. The sisters are crashing the party on this season of Game of birth. I have no clue what to expect, but whatever it is, I'm going to go hard. I'm a complete pro in every sense of the word. I'm a supreme athlete. One thing you can never beat me on is hard work, and I think this is going to be hard work, and I'll outwork everyone. I'm competing, obviously, to have a little bit of fun and just to sort of get myself outside my comfort zone. I really like the idea of taking up a challenge. Um, I'm one of those people that says yes and then thinks about it later. <laughs> I am a 25-year-old actress and model from Auckland, New Zealand. Who do I think is my biggest threat? Academically, intellectually, no one. In terms of physical ability, almost everyone. I'm expecting to get eliminated in the first round, but I'm also expecting to have a lot of fun and actually be surprised, because I might win, you never know. Kei ngā mana, kei ngā reo, kei ngā waka, tēnā rata tau katoa. Nisa Bulavanaka, mālo e le lei, talo fa lava, whakalo fa lai atu. Kia ora makazis. Welcome to the Game of Bros Season 3. I've been watching it from the first series right through, and to think that I was offered to come and uh, be a part of it. I went out and got a special bra. I went out and got special spandex. My gosh, you've been not breaking me. Wari in kōpū tōku ingwa. I am your host and your game's master. So what I say goes. And if you don't like it, well, you can go cry in your coconut water. Not looking at anybody in particular, Shimpel. So I, <laughs> what? I wish it, like, uh, I'd come on, you know, like the real one when it was just all the guys, like season one, you know, with the real dudes, yeah. But this one's just a celebrity one, so I should be all right. The first thing you might notice is that this season, it's a little bit different. We have our wahine toa walking the warpath. No mai e ngā uri o hine tītama. Yeah, the girls are. You know, um, it's it's different, but it's it's going to add a bit of flavour to it. Perfect. Girls on the teams. I mean, it's about time. They're going to be using their brains more than their brawn. So just because it's a girl doesn't mean I'm going to take it lightly. They can problem solve a lot better than us. They can look at something and see the best way through it, whereas we just go, whoa. I'm looking at them carefully. I'm a little bit nervous, actually, about the wahines. You know, the fellas, they get distracted very easily by those wahine. Yeah, it's going to be my kryptonite, I think, eh? Rangi papa, ra, marama. That's what we need in life. We can't have one without the other. So I actually think we're all going to bring our strengths out of each other and balance it all out. Something else that's a little bit different this year, it's the first time, actually, we've had a person on the show without any muscles whatsoever. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> You're hiding and stuff you. Do you feel like you're going to be able to keep up with your competitors? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it's, you know, it's a strategy game, bro. And <laughs> looking at everyone here, the muscles, you need the brains, though, cuz. That's why we've oh. got Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll need her. Yeah. Am I going to win? <laughs> of course I'm going to win, Game of Pro Street. You know, <laughs>
or I found out you would be competing in the Tamate Kapua Relay Challenge. O Tamate Kapua, te rangatira o te waka o te Arua. He was renowned for his mischief and his cunning ways, including stealing fruit from a neighboring chief's tree by using stilts. That's why he had to flee Hawaii. He also stole a tohunga off another waka to make his journey across to Aotearoa. Are we splitting you into two teams of five? Yeah, that makes ten. <laughs> if you need help again, just ask me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I want to have Jimmy Jacks, cos he will distract everybody. I would like to have Miri on my side of I feel like I'm selecting all the Māoris. There is something about that tangata whenua. Yeah, we've got to stay tight. I'd like to be with uh, Tumehu, Carlos and Gloria. Gloria's got the brains and the other two can do all the physical challenges. I'll just sit back there and orchestrate. I want Butterbee because he's big. He's, I've, we, we've seen each other. You've got the physical, I've got the academic, so we're kind of built up an alliance like that. Jimmy, Gloria, Kai, Chappelle and Miss Key. You will be Team Kofi. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be <laughs> I was a bit worried, to be honest. I uh, still am worried. Uh, I'm glad I got Kai, little spider monkey. And Gloria, she just sounds and looks a bit smart, so I I'm happy with my team. At the same time, not happy, but I'm happy. I was a little bit freaked out, but in the end, you know, you have to quickly think on your feet, how is this going to work? And you must be positive about it. When we're doing the challenges, uh, all I see is a finish line and me winning, so. Makere, Dave, Miriama, Tumehe, and Carlos, you are team oh. Kahurangi. Call that the winning team. <laughs> Do we need to have this challenge? <laughs> we won. But so there's that cocky butterbean. Let's see what he's got. And, and uh, I know I'm walking around with a target over my head. You know, I am I am the great one. So uh, let's see. That team's like, no, nah, we will cut you. We will hurt you. So it's just the reality of it. Okay, I'm not sure what they will. The first member of your team must race on the stilts and watch out for the water balloons. Once they reach the fruit, they must release it to a team member. Then it's a foot race to the waiting waka. And two of your mates will have to put on their paddle power to row out and retrieve a tohunga and tow it back to land. From there, three team members will build the carrying platform. Once the platform is built, four of you will carry one corner each, while the remaining person will carry your fruit. The first team to cross the finish line will be the winners. Oh. And don't cheat, Dave. <laughs> I've got to take, you know, every bit of advantage I can. If it means bending the rules, well, the rules are there to be broken. Team Kofi, ready? Team Kaurangi, ready? Toru! Rua! Tahi! Team Wata! Tomua, you game of bros. Are we splitting you into two teams of five? Jimmy, Gloria, Kai, Chappelle, and Miss Kihi. You will be Team Kofi. Makere, Dave, Miriama, Tumehe, and Carlos. You are Team oh. Kahurangi. You will be competing in the Tamate Kapua Relay Challenge. Me tu oma irunga i ngā pau toti. Ka tahi ka kohi kohi hua. Me kau hoi atu ki a tīkana i te tohunga, a me hanga whātā mō hei tū oma ki te mutunga. The first team to cross the finish line will be the winners. Team Kofi ready? Team Kaurangi ready? Toru, Rua, Tahi, Team Rata. We were in the outside lane, so we had to sort of come across, which was harder. I'm definitely a clean fighter. She fell off like quite a few times, but would make up for it in steps, so it was like you're almost better off to fall off yourself. I cheated a little bit. I got off those stilts when I fell, and I walked a couple of steps and got back up. Apparently, it wasn't cheating, so. Watch out for the water balloons, here they come. During the stilt challenge, I was one of the bombers. Yeah, I did manage to get Gloria quite a few times. 
throwing the water balloons, I thought we were just throwing at the people on the stilts, and the next minute I was like, four, three, four balloons hit me on the back, and I said, oh, okay, we're playing that game, are we? I was the stilt holder at that time. I was like, gosh, I feel like I've got the least mahi to do. So I had to really put my car into the whole stilts and get my splits on and everything. I got smashed by a pineapple straight on the head. Oh, really? Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm just, I'm just happy because I'm competitive. Too much, Pete. Too much. Four. Too much. Last one. Jimmy was out of the gate. Like he was 15 again getting chased by the cops. I can run for like a minute or something. But I can run fast as. You look like Usain Bolt out there. <laughs> you killed it. Like Moldy Usain Bolt. He was running for gold. He hasn't exercised in a long time. I saw that guy. Cigarette, coffee, cigarette, coffee. He surprised me. He gave it his all, so much so, he almost gapped it. Goodness gracious. I spewed as well. I thought I'd just chuck that in there. Why not? You couldn't see colour in his face. He'd gone as white as a ghost. <laughs> but hey, I got to the end first, actually 25 seconds in front. We have to like to count on. I haven't done really done uh, waka before. It's like a rhythm thing. So we're 25 seconds behind, which I knew with the strength of me and Carlos that we could make that time up. We had a strategy where me and him thinking would be the strongest in paddling. But uh, in the end, you know, <laughs> we're the heaviest. The water started coming in. There was like a waterfall in there. Oh, man, we just sunk in that water. I got enough swimming in me to save my kids. And as soon as we hit the water, I thought, oh, no, I'm gone. Butterbean almost killed himself. I look in the distance, and the waka has flipped. <laughs> We're like, oh, man. Yeah, mm. sorry about that. <laughs> We didn't think it was that bad. We thought they were just a bit behind, but they'd actually sunk in their whole kayak. You got the two biggest guys on the boat. Obviously, it's going to sink. Obviously, it's going to capsize. I think that's when the other team sort of uh, realised who they're f***ing with, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought we were all clear. We, we thought we had it in the bag. I'm lagging. In my head, I was thinking, oh, it's definitely we've lost for sure. When Y was running towards us, we were like, oh, he's coming over to say how choice we are. And then when he started telling us, look behind you. And we looked behind us and, and saw the platform was like way, way back. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, didn't even have the talk and they were, they were miles off. They'd broken somehow. Maybe, I, I think this is a bit dodgy. Maybe the, the other team might have um, cut the rope. And I felt for our boys who were soaking wet and freezing. Fortunately, we did manage to get them out of the water safely. This is why we need surf lifesaving, right? This is it, right there. Well, clearly none of you are descendants of Tamata Kapua or Te Arawa, because that, that was a miserable fail. <laughs> team, miserable fail. Blue team, you put the two heaviest guys in the waka, Massive mistake. Yellow team, you weren't too much better. I mean, you, you left your tohunga behind, OK? <laughs> so we're going to pick it up from where the build is going to happen, OK? Team Kofi, you had a 25-second lead heading into the waka race. So therefore, you will get 25 seconds head start before the blue team will get to go. That 25 seconds was crucial. I got to the end first, 25 seconds in front. Once those tohungas are up on the platforms, you're away down to the finish line. Team Kofi, you've got 25 seconds. Three, two, one, Team Wata. Don't snap it up, Jimmy. I'm useless at tying ropes and doing knots. 
I actually tried and then I didn't know what I was doing, so Auntie, Miss Kiki, took over, fully took over, pretty much told me to get out. I've got a good feeling about this ehua. I've done a massive karaki this morning um, to all the atua to come through and guide me. Uh, they've got a hell of a job to do today, so I'm hoping that uh, they got the memo. The rowers, the walkers were only the advisors, so we couldn't touch anything. We just had to look and give advice. Where you go, Team Gaurangi? Team members build the carrying platform. There's lots of screaming going on and yelling. It's only cheating if you get caught. Team Kaurangi. So then we are called out. Pause. We were kind of just lost, really. I mean, I thought that I was allowed to, to jump in. Your waka person wasn't supposed to help you. We had four, four people building. There's only meant to be three, and I think the whole team was actually helping. You saw that, eh? Wait, okay, that's 40 seconds, right? That's done. Hold. Oh man, Kahurangi. Go. Okay, we're on, we're on, we're on. So, um, yeah, there's a bit of cheating there, but um, we're not here to complain, we're just here to compete. At this point, after getting penalised, it's like, let's just go. So we just lift the thing up and just start moving. Team Kahurangi have their tohung up on the platform. They were just rushing it though, their platform didn't look sturdy. We look to Kofi and they haven't lifted their tonga yet, so we're like, wow, for the first time we're in the lead. Here we go. <laughs> Team Kofi, you better start hurrying. I don't care if we need to just stop a minute. No, we ain't stopping. They're right there. Let's go, Team Kofi. We're really aware that if the tohunga drops, then our pineapple carrier has to run back to the starting point with the pineapples and come back to us. Nice work, all five. We got our rhythm up. We were feeling good and we were catching up. Oh, they're firing. It was neck and neck. Don't let it fall now. Tomua, a game of bros. You will be competing in the Tamate Kapua Relay Challenge. Go, brother! Yeah! Nā te o Jimmy Jackson, i haere whakamua a kapakōwhai. Jimmy was out of the gate, like he was 15 again getting chased by the cops. I tata totohu a tī makahurangi. Oh, man, we just sunk in that water. At this point, it's like, let's just go. Tā tahi i haere whakamua rātou mo te wā tuatahi i tēnei wero. Team Kōwha, you better start hurrying. It was neck and neck. I'm at a now. looks like it's just in front. We're really aware that if the tohunga drops, then our pineapple carrier has to run back to the starting point with the pineapples and come back to us. So at this stage in the race, we just don't have the time. There's a little hill, we go down, angles, you know, that makes us speed up. We'll catch them. Wow. It's neck and neck. Not only do Kōwhai catch up to us, they've caught up to us, but they actually overtake us again. We were doing mean as. See, this is why we took time to tie in the ropes, because we wanted to make sure it was secure. See, these was falling apart by the time we got halfway, and I was like, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Oh, 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 oh. Team Kofi looks like he's just in front. <laughs> like, it was screaming at the end, you know, like, come on, just go, just go. He's actually pushing me run along. I was like, whoever crosses the line first is gonna win. Team Kohurangi looks like it's just in front. <laughs> Close. I went straight to Wyatt. I was like, bro, go, go, go to the bunker, you know, check out the big screen. And then I saw the other team's platform and stuff. It was like, it was a shambles on the ground. I was like, you know, you should be embarrassed about that. You don't have to race any further. You only have to race to the finish line and that's it. So, you know, that's what we've done. We designed it to get there. Fantastic effort, both of you. It was literally too close to call. 
So I'm actually going to have a look at a camera replay to see who crossed over the first line first. You can replay that over 100 times over. We definitely won. I actually thought we actually might have won. We're pretty confident that we got across the line first. Team Kahurangi, you got your platform together early. You got your tohunga up nice and quick. You set off nice and fast. Team Kofai, you got your platform up and you started to catch up. From then on, it was neck and neck right to the very end. We've had a look at the footage, OK? The kotoa te toa o tēnei wero, the winner of this challenge. It's Team Kahurangi. I still think we won, but the camera played up a bit there, eh? Everyone was too worried that the taonga would fall off the raft. No, thank you. Just keep bloody going. Throw the damn thing over the line. You don't have to run back once it's over the line. Anyone want to listen to Gloria? No. What happens? We lose. Team Kaurangi, Nami Kia Koutou, Yangi Tsu Koutou Tirane, you guys were the winners of today's challenge. Team Kofai, OK? Unfortunately for you, today, you will vote off one of your own team. This is television, mate. You've got to be ruthless. We're not here to save the world. We're here to entertain. What is going to happen is, one at a time, you are going to come and tell me who in your team you want to leave Game & Bros Season 3. We all looked at each other and thought, thank goodness we're not in their position. OK, I can see you guys plotting and planning over there amongst yourselves. Just remember, no matter what, one of you will be going home today. So have a good think about what you're playing this game for. There's a charity extinct. Mrs. Key, you can be first. Kwe te tuatai. Kai kara. So I see you got together and you schemed a little bit and decided to come up with a plan. But were you confident that everybody was sticking to that plan? See, we worked out a strategy because we had to vote each other off. And so I, I said, why don't we all vote for each other and then they will have to pick, you know? I'm not going to lie. There was a moment where I was like, oh, should I, should I not stick to the plan? Well, there was a loser. What? Well, it better not be me. Ooh, little sneaky ninja. We trusted that everyone would stick to the plan. All of you's lost. Go home. Nah, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but since you guys are all just little clever dicks, gonna hand it over to Team Kahurangi. Team Kahurangi, you are gonna decide which of the Team Kofai is leaving us today. Take a minute. Discuss it amongst yourselves. We all decided collectively that it had to be who we thought was the biggest threat. My biggest threat would have to be the smallest guy, Kai. Kai is a physical threat. Let's get rid of the strongest link, because <laughs> we want to win as well. At the end of the day, they'll do it to us. Oh, why dragged out the voting process hard out? It's because it's like a quarter, you know? It's getting a bit old, bro. You know? That's why it takes time these days, you know? OK, Team Kahurangi, who have you decided to send home from Team Kofai? The team uh, regretfully decided to send home. Gloria. Out my name, I guess, yeah, my heart sank. I was like, say what? We voted Gloria because we realised that, you know, not all the challenges are going to be physical ones. We had to put it down to the strength of Glow's intelligence, and that, that was the reason why we sort of agreed on voting her off. In all honesty, I didn't think the Kahurangi team would call out my name. I actually wanted to stay and compete. 
this is way too early in the game. No one wants to be the first one to go home, and now I'm the first one to go home. But that's fine. Compose myself, be graceful. I am a bit sad that glory is gone, but at the same time, what has to be done has to be done, G. You know? Hey, I'm in it to win it. I ain't in it to make friends, cuz. I'm gutted I won't win that money for my charity. I think it's really good that, given the opportunity, I've been able to raise the awareness for I Have a Dream charity. I don't wish bad luck on anyone. And at the end of the day, yes, we're competing, but we're competing for our charity. So it's going to a good cause, and I can't be mad at that. It's going to somewhere that deserves it. Aotearoa Wiki, i runga i Game of Bros. I've already got it in my mind who's going to be our runner. <laughs> oh, we all have to do it each. Uh oh. Going good, confident, pretty sure we're going to win. I'm very surprised. I don't know how he's doing it. Bring it on, G. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm just the man, G. Jimmy, Jimmy, bro, are you OK? Yeah, you've got to put it in. You've got to put it in. You're still red and not really breathing. You go, oh, uh, say, George. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.